you're a real BMX supporter, you'll see behind me the cream of the world's BMX riders. There's seven from the USA, one from the UK, our very own Andy Ruffle in this pro final, contesting two and a half thousand pounds worth of prize money. And the first person past the post will win one thousand pounds. Take a good look at these faces because you won't see them for dust when they come out of those traps. And the faces are as follows. In lane one, Tommy Brackens, Team GT. Mike Miranda, Team Hutch. Hello. Scott Clark, Team Redline. In lane four, we've got Mr. BMX, Stu Thompson, Team Huffy. Lane five, Gary Ellis, also Team Huffy. Lane six, our very own Andy Ruffle. Lane seven, Brian Patterson, riding for his own team. Last but not least, Harry Leary, Diamondback. Well, Tommy Bracken's won it last week. It's seven Yanks and one Briton in the shape of Andy Ruffle riding for Team Rally. £1,000 to the winner. Riders ready, battles ready, go! And another really blistering start by Tommy Bracken's there, but an even better one by Scott Clark, Team Redline. He gets the whole shot from Gary Ellis. It's uh, Clark from Ellis. Bracken's off the track momentarily, but he's holding third spot at the moment. Scott Clark in the lead. Don't know what's happened to Andy Ruffle, but he's out of this race in line sixth or seventh spot at the moment. It's Tommy Bracken's now challenging Gary Ellis for second spot, and he takes him going over the bridge. Scott Clark from uh, Tommy Bracken's Gary Ellis. A little bit of bumping and boring with uh, Ellis and Thompson there going into that left-handed berm. It's still Scott Clark holding the lead now. Tommy Bracken's being challenged by Gary Ellis, but Bracken's just holds on, does he? Yes, to take second spot behind Scott. Clark, Ellis third, Thompson fourth. But let's look at that awful start from Andy Ruffle going backwards all the way. Certainly not his afternoon, but very definitely Scott Clark's. Uh, I got a good start, and once I got that start, I knew I had it. Uh, I wheelied a little bit. I thought somebody would get me, but I just kept cranking. So we're at the halfway point of the Kellogg's Championships, end of week three on Track Wars. This walk that we're doing now is over the treble whoops and it is absolutely horrendous today. Yeah, it looks a bit dodgy. It's, uh, the trouble is you're coming down the start straight very, very fast and the track's very hard. Now you jump these and you have to take it tight on the inside. So of course, as soon as you lean on the inside, because the track's so hard and slippery, you start to slide out. As you can see, look. That's right, as you can see, there's loads of tyre marks and there's a few digs there where people have caught their pedals. So it's not too uh, pleasant. Well, the Americans seem to be, as we mentioned at the start of the programme, cleaning up now. Tommy Bracken's way out in front in the money stakes. That's for money, but the, in the team championship, they're off the points, and Andy, you've got the scores. Yes, Samaco 68 points, Redline 62, and Rally are now in third with 55. We're going to do it all again next week. Remember, we've got six variations of this track. We'll change it around once again. We'll see you next Friday, 5 o'clock, Channel 4, for more Track Wars.